The Weird Circle. In this cave by the restless sea, we are met to call from out the past stories strange and weird. Bell keeper, pull the bell so all may know we are gathered again in the weird circle. Speak again the immortal tale, The Return. Jacob, there comes the hearse. Poor Lady Ligia. What a tragedy it was, Ellen. Look how the village folks lie the street. And look, he rides in the carriage directly behind the coffin. Poor Sir Charles. What will he do now? Why, didn't he tell you? Now, you know that you're his favorite in service. Well, just the other night when I was taking him his late cup of tea, he said, Ellen, I'm going away for a long time. I'm afraid I'll have to leave everything to you and Jacob. The, the whole of Glanville Castle? Did he say that? He did. So he's leaving right after the coffin's lowered in the ground directly after. Mm, how grieved he is. To think, three days ago, Lady Ligia was laughing and dancing at the ball. And now they're putting her body in the ground. Does any of us know we'll be alive tomorrow? It's not so strange. Accidents happen every day. She should have been careful not to go so near the cliff. Oh, that cliff. I tell you, Ellen, Sir Charles should put a tall fence around it to keep folks away. It's that dangerous. Look, the curse is passing. Look at all the snow-white lilies. They were her favorite lilies. But, but you, Ellen, I haven't seen you shed a single tear. Well, it's hard to. I don't believe she's really dead at all. Now, whatever do you mean by that? You'll not say I told you now. Not a word. And you promise not to be frightened? Of course not. Whatever is it? Oh, I've been saying to myself how much better I'd feel for telling it to somebody. Then come, tell it to me. Well, it's not that I mean she's not dead. It, she is, of course, but well, only last night, Jacob. Yes? I found some of the funeral lilies in a vase in the library. Oh, well, well what of that? It was Lady Legia who put them there. Her ghost, Jacob. Her ever-living ghost. Uh, well, how, how do you know that? Because I heard her wailing from the sea, wailing for Sir Charles to come back. Now I've told you. And you mustn't breathe it to a soul, do you hear? Not a soul, Ellen. Not the soul. Easy getting into the carriage, Sir Charles. Thank you, Jacob. Goodbye, Ellen. Jacob, take good care of Granville Castle. Goodbye, Sir Charles. And please, sir, take care of yourself. Yes, I will. Goodbye, sir. We'll watch over the castle good and proper, sir. I know you will. Go ahead, driver. Goodbye. I'll let you hear from me. Goodbye, Sir Charles. Goodbye, Sir Charles. Sir Charles. Sir Charles. Run away. Run away. But wherever you go, wherever you are, you will come back to me. For all roads lead to Legia. To Legia. To Legia. So, Ellen, I have seen the world, nearly all of it, I suppose, and the months have quickly slipped by. It seems only yesterday I left you and Jacob at Glenville Castle. Four years aren't so very long, after all. But this isn't what I'm writing to say. Ellen, and there's, there's one, one thing, thing more. more. It's, it's by, by way, way of a surprise, a wonderful one. surprise. I won't tell you what. 
but have Lady Legia's rooms aired and cleaned and prepare dinner for two on Wednesday. There I've told you without intention. My best regards to you and Jacob, Sir Charles. Well, did you ever... Jacob, he's gone and gotten himself married again. You mark my words. Well, that's good. I hope he has. Indeed, I do. Wednesday. Why, that's day after tomorrow. Jacob will have to hire more servants. Now, tomorrow morning... Sir Charles. Helen, listen. Sir Charles. Come home. Come home. Oh, it's her again. Lady Legia. <laughs> Now you've heard it, too. She's been here all these years, Jacob, waiting, waiting for him to come back again. The ghost. The castle's haunted by her ghost. Now you believe me. Many's the time I've heard her crying in the sea wind, roaming through the big halls, her footfalls soft on the stairs. But I've never been afraid until now. Till she laughed just then. Oh, this is a terrible thing. What could she want here, Ellen? Well, we mustn't let on we know anything about it, Jacob. Not to a soul. Come on now, it's late. But Ellen... You see, Lady Ligia's ghost cries for Sir Charles to join her. And now he can never do that, don't you see? You mean, uh, because he's married again? Yes, and when the ghost finds out he belongs to someone else, what will she do? It's that that frightens me. Come on now. Snuff the candles and close the shutters tight. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, Charles, what a happy day this is. The day's happy because of you, Lowing. And I'm happy, too, because you make me so. Do I, Charles? Mm. Oh, it's good to see your eyes so bright. Remember in London how gloomy you were? How sad you seem. That's all gone because of you. Have you really forgotten her, Charles? Completely, Lowena. The G is gone from my mind forever. Did you love her very much? There, now, you made me promise weeks ago not to speak of her again. But she was so famous for her beauty, and I am curious. You're beautiful. Do you know, I think I've been in love with you since that day your father brought you to Granville Castle and we sailed our paper boat. Oh, remember? Charles, we were only six or seven years old. I know we were. I don't ever remember having such a jolly time as we did that day. I thought of that day instantly. We met in London last April. How strange to remember such a little thing as paper boat. And then I remember thinking, Lady Lowena Trevanion of Tremaine belongs in Granville Castle. I am in love with her. And then we said, how do you do? And before you knew it, you were married. Uh -huh. The Lady Lowena had sneered you, as they say in London. <laughs> Uh, Charles. Hmm? Oh, Charles, look. There's the castle. Oh, I love it, standing there on that high bluff overlooking the sea. We'll be there in no time now, darling. How impressive it is. Oh, how exciting, Charles. I'm in love with it already. Louina. What's the matter? I... Nothing, Charles. It's nothing. But you've gone white. Are you ill? No, no, it's nothing. Just the excitement, I suppose. I... I felt a little jab at my heart, as if it were pricked with an icicle. Oh, Louisa. My darling. It's gone now. I'm quite all right. But, Charles. Yes? It's nothing. How silly I am. You see what being in love with Sir Charles Glanville does to her? <laughs> she grows faint with a kind of wonderful happiness. <laughs> What delicious tea, Ellen. Thank you, Lady Louina. Jacob has lighted a fire in the library, Sir Charles. All right, Ellen. Shall we go into the fire, Louina? Charles. Mm. May I ask a question? Of course, my darling. Will you forgive me? It's about Ligia. <laughs> well, what is it now? Something rather strange, I think. Was she a little taller than I? Blue eyes, very black and lovely hair, and a beautiful smile. Why, well, yes. How did you know? Twice this evening, I've had a kind of glimpse of her. Louina, what do you mean? I mean, this afternoon in the carriage when I felt ill, a picture of her passed for a second through my mind. I saw her quite clearly. Then tonight at dinner, when I spoke of the draft in the room, I saw her again. Louina, those flowers. Ellen! Ellen, come here. Charles, what is it? I won't have them here. My darling, whatever's the matter, what won't Ellen. you have? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir, Charles, what is it, sir? Those lilies and that vase, take them out. Oh, Sir Charles, 
What shall I do with them? I've been afraid to throw them out. Nonsense, Ellen. Why? Because they're her flowers. Oh, I didn't want to tell you. But those lilies have been there, white and beautiful as snow, since the day she died five years ago. What? Ellen, you can't believe such nonsense. It's true, sir. It's true. There are more in the chapel. Then we should leave them, Charles. What difference can a dozen lilies make? All right, Ellen. Leave them here. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Is Jacob locked up for the night? Yes, sir, he has. Good night, then, Ellen. Good night, Ellen. Charles, how gloomy you look. Come, my darling. The fire's warm and the room's cozy with it. Oh, Lowena. A terrible depression's coming back. It's here, everywhere in the castle. A brooding, haunting fear. I'm afraid. I don't know why, Lowena, but I'm afraid. My darling, there's nothing to be afraid of. It was like this before. Even the first night after she died, when her body lay in the chapel, covered with flowers, it was... Charles! The wind's blown open the terrace doors. Oh, close them. Charles! What is it? Something blew in the window from the sea. Charles, it's on my shoulder. Get it off. Get it off. Lowena. There. Now it's gone. How awful. Oh, wet and slimy. Charles, close the window. Yes. There. Oh, Louina, my darling. Seaweed from the sea. It was in the wind. It felt like wet hands on my shoulders, on my throat. Oh, Charles, take it out. Here, I'll shove it on the hearth. There now. Oh, my darling, don't be afraid. It was like cold hands tightening about my throat. Charles. We're not alone. There's someone here in the room. Gia. Gia. She was always here. Lowena, there's something I must tell you. What is it, Charles? I hated her. I never loved her at all. Charles. It was long ago. Both she and I were so young when the marriage was arranged. Gia was beautiful and strong. She loved me more than I could understand. Charles. Then one night I made up my mind to get away. She grew wild with anger. I left the house... She followed me to the cliff. My darling. She was always indifferent to danger. She threatened to throw herself over the bluff into the sea if I persisted and went away. And then, suddenly it happened. I saw her slip. A bit of earth gave way. I grabbed for her, but it was too late. She fell like a stricken bird onto the rocks and surf below. But, Charles, you can't blame yourself for such an accident. That night she said something I'll never forget. What was it? She said... If you go away, I'll follow you, Charles. You can't escape me. Never. Even when I'm dead, I'll follow you. Wait and see. (laughs) Listen. Listen. What is it? Lucia. Lucia. She's here. Here in the room. But why? She's come for me. For me. Charles. Lorena, what's the matter, darling? The little stab at my heart. Oh, Charles. You're wrong. Lucia has come for me. Forgive me for bringing you here. Charles, don't fret. I'm not afraid of this ghost. Ellen! What harm can a phantom do us? But this pain in your heart, it frightens me. And you said... You said she's come for you. I believe she has, Charles. I mean, Ligia's jealous. It's her wicked jealousy that haunts the castle. Did you call, Sir Charles? Yes, Ellen. Lady Lorena's not well. I'm going to carry her upstairs. Will you take the candle for me? But I can walk, Charles. Really, I can. And if you feel well enough to walk, let's go away from here. Now. Oh, Lorena, say you will. Leave Glenville Castle. Oh, Charles, we've only just come. No, you carry me upstairs if you wish, but let's stay here. It's our home. Oh, whatever will I do with her, Ellen? All right, now. There, now. You're light as a feather. This way, sir. I'll open the door. Thank you. Ellen, 
Has she been haunting the castle all these years that Charles was away? I suppose you could say she has, ma'am. Now and again, I've heard her climbing these very stairs and laughing very happy-like. But mostly, I've heard her outside on the bluff. How do you mean, Ellen? Well, it's just that, uh... Well, sir, I think that's where she comes from, the cliff where she died. Jacob never heard her wailings in the sea winds, but many's the night I have. Her voice seems like part of the surf and the wind, if you know what I mean. Here, sir, I'll open the bedroom door. Thank you. Charles, how solemn you are. Let me down gently now. Uh, there. Adjust the pillows, Ellen. Oh, ma'am, forgive me for speaking so, but the way things are, I think Sir Charles is right. You should go away. Now, Ellen, I wager the phantom is already gone and your fears are for nothing. I... Charles, where are you going? I, I thought I heard a sound on the stairs. Oh, Louina, my darling, you can make light of this thing, but I tell you there's more to it than you know. There's evil, hatred and evil here. But where are you going? I'm going outside to the cliff. Ellen, stay here with her. He's gone. Oh, Ellen, I can tell you. I'm deathly afraid. But I'm here, ma'am. It's not that. Don't you see? She'll never let us be happy, Ellen, never. And she'll take him away from me somehow. I don't know how, but somehow she will. Lugia. Lugia. Where are you? Lugia, listen to me. I'll do anything you say. Anything if I can only right the wrong. I appeal to you, Lugia. What would you have, Sir Charles? Happiness with Lady Louina? Lugia, it is you. Part of the sea and the wind am I, Sir Charles. Until you come to me. Oh, leave me alone, Ligia. Let me live my life. There in the castle and here by the sea I waited. And you've come back again, as I knew you would someday. No, no, not to you. To me, Sir Charles. Come to me now. The path lies downward to the rocks and the surf. It is but a step from where you are to me. Come, oh. come. No, I don't love you. I never did. You know that. Then I shall haunt you till you do, Sir Charles. Until you do. Ligia, where are you? Come back. <laughs> the laughter moves to the castle. Lorena. Lorena! Helen, is Lady Lorena all right? Oh, sir, I'm glad you've come. Something's terribly wrong with my mistress. Lorena. Lorena, my darling. What's the matter? Jacob, fetch me the cold. Oh, I should never have left you. Never. Here we are, Ellen. I, I feel so tired, Charles. So tired. This compress on your forehead, ma'am. It'll do you good. Does she have fever, Ellen? No, sir. This illness came upon her quite sudden, like a little while ago. I'll be all right. Soon I'll be all right. Ellen, we've got to get her out of here now. Oh, Sir Charles, I, I'd be afraid to risk it. It's her heart, I think. Feel how it beats. Uh, oh. Jacob. Yes, sir. Get the carriage. Go for the village doctor. Tell him Lady Glanville is ill. Dangerously ill. Tell him anything, but get him back here quick. Yes, sir. Fast as I can. Ellen, close the door. Is the window locked? Yes, sir, it is. I'll lock the door. How can we keep the ghost of Gia away, Ellen? How? We must. We must. Oh, Lorena. I'll take you away from here soon. Soon as you're able to go. Charles. Charles, hold my hand. Why? Why, it's cold. Don't be afraid, darling. Ellen and I are here with you. I am afraid. Help me, Charles. How can I fight when the phantom comes? But she won't come, Louise. Soon the doctor will be here. He'll make things right again. It's only some illness. Charles, poor Charles. I should never have come to Glanville. You belong to Ligia to no one else. She'll never let you go. <laughs> listen. Listen. Ligia comes for me, Charles, now. No, Louise, it's nothing. We're imagining it. Oh, she's coming nearer, sir. What shall we do? At last. Charles, I'm afraid of her. Help me. Help me. The lock. The lock turned. <laughs> Regia, in the name of heaven, leave us alone. I'll do anything you say. Anything but leave us alone. Look, sir. The lilies moved. She's there by the table touching the white lilies. The lilies are a symbol of my ghostly eternity, Sir Charles. When the lilies wither and fade, 
Your Lucia died. She stands near your side. Clearly I can see her now. And she reaches. Charles. She reaches to touch my heart. No, no. Ellen, help me quickly. Take the covers from her. What will you do? Lucia will murder if we stay here. Hurry up. Carry her to the chapel. Why didn't we think of the chapel before? Louina, darling, relax in my arms. It'll be only a moment. <laughs> the child, wait. Look there. Her eyes are closed. Louina. Louina. Oh, well. We were too late. Too late. The phantom has murdered her. Oh, try to reach me now, Lucia. I'll lock this castle tight as a drum, and your loneliness will torment you till the walls rot and crumble away. See what you've done. You've killed her. Your evil jealousy has smothered my lady to death. Oh, how terrible, sir, how terrible. Come, take her to the chapel. We will pray for her soul. Yes, we will pray for her soul. the other candles, Ellen. Yes, sir. And lay her there before the altar, Sir Charles. It's where the Gia lay. Some of her lilies are here still. Now they're Loena's lilies. It's nearly morning, Ellen. Jacob will be returned soon. Have him send the doctor away again. Come away yourself, Sir Charles. Take her up again. The air here is cold and damp. In a little while, Ellen. She's so beautiful in the candlelight. Sir Charles. What? Look. Her bosom moves. I saw it clearly oh, then. Louina. Oh, Louina. Ellen. Her pulse is throbbing. Oh, praise heaven. It's a miracle, <laughs> sir. Help me rub her wrist. Quickly there. Wait. She opens her eyes. Louina. Oh, you're all right. You're all right. We were so frightened, my darling. We thought... Poor Charles. You thought I was dead. Yes. Yes. But you're alive. You're alive. Oh, how glad I am. How glad. And you came back, back to, to me, Charles. Charles. Just as I knew you would someday. Louina. Your voice. Sir Charles. Sir Charles! It's the Lady Legia. Her spirit has entered the body of your wife. I've come back to you, Charles. The only way I could. Gia! Take care of me now until this body is well. And then I'll be mistress of Glanville and the wife of Sir Charles again. Gia! You're a dead... Only because I love my life so much and you more than I could bear. Have pity, Charles, and love me too. No, Gia, no. In time you will, my darling. Where is she? Where's the Lady Lowena? Somewhere in the wind. Even as I was. Lowena! How useless that is, my child. Louina! Come to me now and pity my wretchedness and give me peace. Louina! Oh, Lady Legia, come back. Leave him be. Leave him be. Oh, come back, Lady Legia, come back. Ellen, Ellen, what's happened here? I've brought the doctor. Oh, Jacob, help me quickly now. We must go after him, Sir Charles. I saw him just uh, running toward the cliff and, and the Lady Louina after him. Well, quick then, before it's too late. Look, look down to Ellen on the cliff. Jacob, hurry. It's, it's, it's the Lady Louina. No, Jacob. It's the Lady Legia who has entered the body of Lady Louina. Jacob. Uh. Look in the morning light. Far below on the rocks. It's Sir Charles. Oh, how terrible. How terrible it is. He died just as the Lady Legia herself went so long ago. Jacob, quickly now. We must get her inside out of the wind. How cold she is. She's coming around. Take her up, Jacob. In the castle. No. No, Ellen. There's no need for that. Is he dead? Yes. On the rocks below. I tried to save him. I didn't want him to die. Don't talk, ma'am. The doctor's here. Ellen, I cannot stay now. Yes, ma'am. I know. 
I've lost him forever. To her. To Louis. He loved her truly, Ellen. Indeed. That he did. And so did I, but not truly. Instead, I loved him wholly. Too selfishly, because he was my life, and I loved my life most of all. But now I cannot stay. Uh, Jacob, take me into the chapel and pray that my soul may find rest. Gladly, ma'am. We'll both pray for you. And as you pray, watch the lilies on the altar. I promise you, they will wither and turn brown and die. Ellen. She's dead, Jacob. A woman with two lives. Come, take her up and into the chapel. Let us pray for her soul. The Gia and the lilies are dead. From the time-worn pages of the past, we have brought you the story, The Returned. Bellkeeper, toll the bells.